Simi says that while the Proud Boys may have worked hard to push into the mainstream, many still subscribe to extremist beliefs. So this is, you know, a t-shirt in reference to the mass slaughter of Jewish people during the Holocaust um, that stands for six million wasn't enough. You know, their, their view is not to deny the Holocaust, but to say the Holocaust didn't go far enough. And so he's flying Proud Boys colors and these clearly neo-Nazi ideas here. You know, we get fixated on all these different groups out there. And, in, and from my perspective, I think it's more helpful to think about this as a broad worldview. The Proud Boys are led by Enrique Tarrio. He's this guy who is a Cuban-American man of color. Um, what's going on with that, do you think? If you look at, for instance, the history of the um, racist skinhead movement in the United States, any number of different racist skinhead crews across the country, they wouldn't be exclusively white necessarily. You have, um, you know, the, the capacity for people of, of various different backgrounds to embrace fascism as an ideology, as a worldview. And, and I think in many respects, that's what we're dealing with here is a broad fascist movement.